Ambition to me, I think of as purpose. Um, so uh, if I think of it in a professional sense, it's like what's the purpose of my, my work, my business, what I'm actually doing. Um, so I think it's very closely allied with that. It's, uh, it's aligned with passion as well. So I think um, ambition, focus, passion, purpose, all, all closely connected for me. So are you ambitious? <laughs> Am I ambitious? Um, it, it took me a while in, in my life to figure out what the purpose is of my business and for myself and what, I, what really drives me and uh, what sort of gets the juices flowing, what gets me up in the morning, um, when am I sort of in that, in that groove, so to speak. Um, I think I'm, I'm fairly driven, I would say. Um, um, I'm passionate about what I do and the things that I get my get involved with. Um, am, am, am I ambitious? Uh, I think in in the sense that I think of the word ambition, um, yeah, I'm somewhere in there probably. <laughs> so why do you think you're this way? If if I think of um, my upbringing, um, so you know, divide nature and nurture. Um, both my parents were entrepreneurs. Um, they owned a business in the UK. They immigrated to New Zealand. They uh, they never worked a job, so to speak. They were always um, looking at um, opportunity. They had a lot of purpose, they had a lot of, of drive. And so I think I got um, a lot from them and they surrounded themselves with other people like that. Um, I think uh, of you know what I read and what I look at um, and I think that probably relates to um, purpose and ambition and drive for people as well. So I, th I think it's just uh, really the world that I'm in. Um, I, other family members, mostly also business owners and um, entrepreneurs as well. So it sort of comes with, <laughs> with the territory for me, yeah. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person who you know? Um, I don't know him, but if I if I think of someone uh, certainly that I, I know I have, uh, know of from uh, from the media and other people that, that are connected to him, I'd think of someone like Elon Musk. Um, I see him as somebody who's really uh, not allowed themselves to have boundaries. Um, he's really someone who's thinking really outside the box, very creatively. Um, he's someone who sets the uh, very ambitious goals and targets there. The word ambition actually comes into it, I think, um, and is managing to actually achieve those. Um, I'd, I'd probably put, um, you know, some of the other great names out there, um, Steve Jobs, you know, in the same category, someone who just said, okay, I'm going to uh, change people's lives and change the world and I'm not going to stop and I'm going to set very high expectations of the people around me and of myself to be able to accomplish those. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Um, yeah, the voice inside my head telling me that I shouldn't try something. Um, I, yeah, I think it's really, it's probably self-doubt. It's probably the, uh, the kinds of things uh, where you say, okay, I could do this or I could be doing that. And, and if you really sit down and start sort of drawing up a list and thinking the reason why you don't do something, um, the barriers are actually far fewer than immediately, you know, than you initially might, or I initially might think. Um, I think, uh, there's also, um, uh, you know, is there a balance between the part of me that's ambitious and the part of me that's like just curious? And I think uh, as someone who's a designer and an artist, um, I, uh, I think there is a part that's important where you're just dreaming and you're just like fluidly sort of like looking and being curious about the world around you. And that's not necessarily in parallel with the um, uh, the passion and the drive and the purpose side. They relate to each other, but I think there's a, an important piece of um, 
going to a gallery and exploring and just discovering or going to the Biennale in Venice and just looking at what's there and not knowing what actually you might actually see and what um, I might respond to and what might actually be useful in the other part. So I think, um, I think in a certain sense it's not always all driven and it's not always all about ambition and I think there needs to be a counterweight to that as well. Do you have any observations about how ambition is viewed in New Zealand? Um, if, if, uh, if you relate um, ambition to sort of the, the poor, tall poppy <laughs> sort of concept, um, I think that if I can, I, and I can only make this comparison because I, I haven't lived in New Zealand for a long time, but living here, so I'm sort of viewing it through potentially an American lens and the Kiwis that I meet who come here, New Zealanders who are in the United States and sort of looking at those differences. Um, New Zealanders are very humble and New Zealanders, uh, I find are about getting on with the job and getting it done and not necessarily like talking about it, bragging about it. Um, and sometimes to their own detriment, they're not very good about talking about what they do and they've actually accomplished a lot and they are very successful, um, but they're quite humble about it and they sort of downplay that. Um, so I think um, I would say that, you know, to me from the outside looking at New Zealand and New Zealanders, that's something that I would, I would make as, a, as an observation just from, from my perspective.